What do we got here? All right, let's see what we have from T-Mobile. T-Mobile is making some changes to their auto pay. What do you need to know? Oh, no. They're not giving you the $5 per line discount if you use Apple Pay. Now, so I already kind of knew about this. And I think some people were starting to get emails or notifications from T-Mobile several weeks ago. Uh, but people reached out to me and made comments in my videos when we started talking about how, like, T-Mobile is changing the terms for auto pay. So we kind of knew that this was in the works, but now we kind of get the official word and kind of how it's going to work. So stories from CNET. All right, so Timo will no longer give discounts for Apple Pay and Google Pay. All right, so even if you got Google going on, right, still still a situation there. All right, it says, um, you know, starting July 25th, uh, T-Mobile is going to be ending the auto pay discounts for Apple Pay, Google Pay, and also credit cards. And the credit card thing we already knew. So no surprises there. All right, so now what you're going to have to do in order to get the auto pay discount is put yourself in harm's way, complete risk, and you're going to have to put a debit card or checking account number on file to set for auto pay. All right, so everybody keeps asking me why they're doing this. Folks, it is a very simple mathematical equation. The merchant services, we're talking about the transactions that are taking place. When you use a credit card, it costs the business owner and operator that's collecting the fee. It costs them money to the merchant services that run the transaction. So, for example, let's say you use your MasterCard. Let's say you use your Visa or your Amex, especially Amex and Discover. Oh, my God. The fees associated with those are crazy, especially with points. But anyways, when you use credit card, you obviously got the points. You don't get points from Visa or MasterCard, or Amex, or Discover. You get points from those companies taking from the business. So let's say you go to, to, to Sneed Mobile Tech Manufacturing, and you use your Discover card, and you earn points. Your points come from me. <laughs> the merchant, right, the Amex, takes from me to give to you. So what's going to start happening, and we have already started to see this, is companies that take credit cards are starting to build that cost into the bill of goods and services. So there's like a credit fee. like It might be considered like a, a surcharge of sort. Maybe they make it 1% or 2% or whatever, but they're building it into the cost. And now what the carriers are doing is they're like, to hell with this. We're not going to do this credit card thing. These people want this auto pay discount. They're going to have to put a checking account or a debit card because those merchant services are not there with respect to the transactional fees or the points. So that's the difference. That's why the carriers are hell bent on changing the policy with these auto pays. Okay, so the first company to do it was Verizon. Now, Verizon handled it in a really simple way. You got to put a checking account on file or a debit card. You can't use a credit card, but if you get the Verizon credit card, you can use that one. So they were like, yo, you scratch my back. I scratch yours. Life is good. I don't need another credit card, but if I'm going to be with a carrier for the next 10, 20 years and I'm not going anywhere and it, you know, is a fine credit card with a decent APR or whatever it is. I don't know. Right. Keep the balance low, whatever it is. Maybe you just use it just to pay Verizon. And then they give you points for it. They're giving you points from them, from themselves, right? So Verizon did it in a very clever way. Verizon did it in a way that would help them financially in a very unique, fiscal, advantageous way. They created an opportunity for their own credit card, which they probably take a little bit off the top. And then they're whoever they do their transactions through and all that stuff. They're banking. Okay, so and then. We, we just caught wind of AT&T doing it. I'm going to talk about that now. And, of course, T-Mobile doing it, right? So they're all doing it. Okay, so auto pay discounts have changed, folks. Uh, my only concern with the T-Mobile side, because it appears, and I'm not saying AT&T and Verizon don't have hacks, but the number of hacks that happen at T-Mobile is 
it's it's absolutely stunning. It's incredible. I have never seen anything like this. They basically get hacked every quarter. If they were to come out and say they were hacked again, like tomorrow, I'd be like, yeah, that's pretty much par for the course. That's really the issue here. You're going to sit here and make people auto pay on checking accounts and debit accounts. But you've got people's SS numbers all over the dark web. Uh, you you know, your your systems are getting hacked quarterly and basically every three to five months. That's not going to give customers confidence in wanting to do auto pay with you. So I think what's going to end up happening, folks, what you might want to do, and, and you're looking for a workaround for this T-Mobile conundrum, is maybe get one of those prepaid debit cards, right? So you basically would reload it to have enough of a balance that it would cover, you know, this auto pay. So let's say your bill is 150 bucks a month. You got, you know, what, 20 lines on T-Mobile's simple choice from back in the day. <laughs> All right. Uh, like the homie Lawrence in Hawaii. What up, bruh? You know, um, just make sure that you got $160 in there at all times. So it covers the cost, you know, for your monthly bill, right? Maybe you want to transfer funds, you know, from your main bank account or something like that uh, or whatever it is, you know. Maybe consider something like that. that. Could be an option. All right, so stuff is a changing in the industry, and no different at T-Mobile. Uh, Pete Fox chimed in. He said, "This is just another price hike in disguise." Yeah, yeah, it is. It has it has its financial element to it, right? The transactions won't cost T-Mobile anything, so it, it improves their revenue position. Uh, Southwest Ohio speed testing said, "I loved using my Apple Card for T-Mobile business. I get three percent cash back." Now I have to pay an extra five bucks. I better use the Mint Mobile link before the pro ones. <laughs> I don't know if Mint Mobile's got a business <laughs> business side as a prepaid MVNO. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you'd probably be saving money, man. Probably. But definitely use our link if you're going to make the switch, man. Yeah, that'd be huge for us to support the channel. There are different ways that you can support the SMT. One of them, obviously, is to rate the video. That helps. You interact with the content, you know, comments and likes and shares and those things. Uh, but if you want to be more directly supportive of your content creators, the way that you do that is with supports like the Buy Me a Coffee link. Uh, you can support us that way. There's also the other, you know, donation type supports. Really, what I want to do is grow the communities within Patreon and the YouTube memberships, and, and more so the Patreon, because I can give you more through Patreon. So if you guys like what the YouTube channel does and you like what it offers, you're looking for a bunch of things like early access videos and additional live streams. You want more of the SMT? That's how you could do it. So I recommend checking us out on Patreon. The link is in the description. But if you don't want to do that, then you can support us lots of other ways. In the description, you've got the coffee link. You've got other stuff. There's ways to support the channel. Of course, if you need service, but you want a good value, you're sick and tired of price hikes, you're looking for a better deal, we have partnered with Mint Mobile. All right, Use our partner link. It's in the description. They just increased all of the data allotments on all their plans. And they didn't touch pricing. So the 4 gig plan went to a 5 gig plan. They kept it 15 bucks. The 15 gig plan, right, used to be a 10 gig plan, right, and they kept it at $20 a month, right? So they added all this value, didn't even touch pricing. This is why we absolutely must support this company. They are doing good things. I mean, you tell me what carrier is doing this. What carrier gives you more for the same amount of money, right? All these other companies are raising pricing. T-Mobile just increased plan rates, right? Their new plans are more expensive. Verizon is historically known, AT&T historically known for slapping on increases to fees and additional fees and all those types of things. Mint Mobile's different. They're different. They're giving you more and they're not charging you more, right? So if you're looking for a second line, you want to try the T-Mobile network, you know, the, you're looking for a better value, there are... I can think of a dozen reasons to switch to Mint Mobile. And of course, you can port your number. You can get, you know, phone deals. They'll, they'll, like, look at this. Look at this one. It's here at the top, right? We're talking about six months of free service when you buy a phone and get their six month plan. So you would essentially have a year of service and a phone all on a good deal. Can't beat it. 
All right, links in the description. Use it. It's our unique uh, partner link, uh, and it, it will support the channel.